I was asked to be provocative, so I will be. China's shift from decades of market opening and reform to mercantilism began in 2006 with an indigenous innovation campaign and accelerated with the global financial crisis. Today, the China model fuses the party, resurgent state planning, massive subsidies, protectionism, and IP theft, all turbocharged by scale. The China dream of global economic and technological primacy is the rallying cry. It is both aspirational and prescriptive and is reflected in the expansion of China's industrial policies even as China has become a more able competitor. China's justification for its model is the understandable need to advance national security and development. But these can be accomplished without discrimination or mercantilism that now seem hardwired. There is little hard evidence that China will establish a genuinely reciprocal basis for trade, technology, or investment that leads to substantially different market outcomes. No wonder the West increasingly sees a fundamental difference in worldview between different economic models, despite the attraction of the China market and its considerable private sector. China's economic model is amplified through highly strategic initiatives, such as the Belt and Road, and to some extent, global institutions that it dominates. That China seeks greater global influence is not surprising, and it is certainly not unfair. But the sweep of China's stated ambitions, alarming to many countries, often undercuts China's benevolent and win-win framing. The West response is feeble. The U.S. retreats from global leadership or long-term vision, imposes protectionist tariffs that hamper growth, and fails to invest in domestic infrastructure or its people, and then blames China. Europe and others are unable to agree on a common approach, nor appear to appreciate the strategic challenge of China at the center of the Eurasian landmass as Belt and Road proceeds. So where are we? Tactical shifts may de-escalate uh, tension in the short term, but will not resolve fundamental differences which can no longer be papered over. On the other hand, existential crusades are equally unattractive. We are at an inflection point. No outcome is inevitable, but two decades of careful management of the relations between China and the West have run its course. Today's complexity will require a more credible, a much more realistic, and a much more effective framework for East-West relations. <laughs>